Coffee, the number one natural dyeing method for gray hair. Are you looking for a natural and budget-friendly way to dye your hair? Look no further. In this video, we'll show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to dye your hair using coffee. Forget expensive salon treatments or harsh chemical dyes. With just coffee you can achieve beautiful, rich tones in your hair. Why choose coffee as a hair dye? Firstly, it is a natural ingredient that is easily accessible and affordable. Unlike chemical hair dyes, which can be harsh on the scalp and hair, coffee is gentle and less likely to cause damage or irritation. It provides a safer and milder option for those with sensitive skin or allergies. Another benefit of using coffee is the richness and depth of color it imparts to the hair. It can create beautiful, natural-looking shades of brown, from light caramel to dark espresso, depending on the concentration and duration of the dyeing process. Coffee dye can add dimension and vibrancy to your hair, enhancing its natural highlights and giving it a healthy shine. Plus, the aroma of coffee leaves a pleasant scent in your hair, unlike the strong chemical smell associated with commercial dyes. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of dyeing your hair with coffee, step by step. Discover the wonders of this natural alternative and say, goodbye, to chemical hair dyes. Method 1, Dyeing Hair with Coffee and Conditioner. 1. Prepare the coffee dye. Brew 1 cup, 237 milliliters, of organic, dark roast coffee and let it cool. Opt for organic coffee to avoid added chemicals and preservatives. Use a dark roast for a darker hair color. Make the coffee extra strong by adding more coffee grounds than usual. 2. Mix the dyeing solution. In a large bowl or container, combine the cooled coffee, half a cup, 118 milliliters, of conditioner, and 1 tablespoon, 5G, of coffee grounds. Use any type of conditioner, preferably thicker ones for easier application. Mix the ingredients together until evenly distributed. 3. Apply the mixture to your hair. Section your hair and use your hands or a dye brush to coat each strand with the coffee mixture. Use a wide-toothed comb to ensure even distribution. Consider pinning your hair up in a bun to keep it away from your face during the process. Let the mixture sit in your hair for about an hour. 4. Take precautions. Wear an old t-shirt or a towel to prevent staining your clothes. Apply the coffee mixture in a bathroom with a mirror to avoid accidental messes. 5. Rinse your hair. Rinse your hair with plain water, avoiding shampoo or other hair products. Use a shower or a large sink to thoroughly rinse out the coffee conditioner. Continue rinsing until the water runs clear from your hair. 6. Achieve desired results. If your hair isn't as dark as you'd like, repeat the dyeing process daily until you reach the desired shade. For gray hair coverage, it may take 2 to 3 days to achieve full results. 7. Maintain the color. Keep in mind that the coffee dye is temporary and may fade after 1 to 2 weeks. To prolong the color, wash your hair less frequently or touch up with a coffee rinse. Method 2. Dyeing or touching up hair with a coffee rinse. Start with clean, dry hair. Shampoo your hair and ensure it's free of oils, dirt, and hair products. For gray hair coverage, use a clarifying shampoo and focus on cleaning the areas with the most grays. Prepare the coffee rinse. Brew 1 to 1.5 cups, 237 to 355 milliliters, of strong, organic coffee and let it cool. Adjust the amount of water based on your hair color and coverage needs. Use less water for stronger coffee if you have medium brown hair or are covering grays. For short to mid-length hair, 1 cup, 237 milliliters, of coffee is sufficient, while longer hair may require 1.5 cups, 355 milliliters. Allow the coffee to cool to room temperature or cooler. Pour the cooled coffee into a large bowl or container with a wide opening. Choose a container that can hold the coffee and catch any excess that may drip out during application. Apply the coffee rinse. Position the container in the shower to facilitate easy cleanup. Lean your head over the container and dip the ends of your hair into the coffee. Use a small cup to scoop up the coffee and pour it over the rest of your hair. Repeat this process about 15 times to ensure all hair strands are saturated. Use your fingers or a dye brush to distribute the coffee evenly from the roots to the tips. 
If concerned about staining the tub, place a plastic trash bag with a hole over the drain to catch any spills. Alternatively, you can pour the brewed coffee into a spray bottle and spray it all over your hair. Wring out excess coffee from your hair and allow it to sit for at least 20 minutes. To prevent dripping, pin your hair up in a bun or wear a shower cap or head wrap. For added effectiveness, you can wear an old beanie over the shower cap to hold your hair in place. The longer you leave the coffee in, the darker it will dye your hair. You can leave it in for up to 45 to 60 minutes. Unlike with a coffee dye, there's no need to worry about products hardening in your hair during this process. Rinse with plain water. After the desired time has passed, rinse your hair thoroughly with cool water in the shower. Avoid using shampoo, conditioner, or other hair products, as they may remove some of the coffee color. You may need to repeat the rinsing process a few more times to achieve your desired hair color. Try rinsing once a day until you achieve the desired results. Enhance color longevity, optional. If you have thick hair that struggles to absorb color, rinse the coffee out using a mixture of 0.5 US tablespoon, 7.4 milliliters, of diluted apple cider vinegar, in 8 fluid ounces or 240 milliliters of water. This can help the color stick and last longer. We really hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Thank you.